Hey, Sean Hendricks here from Keycode Media, and we're going to be talking about some of the reasons you should be upgrading to TriCaster Advance. Here's a quick breakdown of what makes this an important update for your production. First up, data link. You can finally incorporate real-time graphics and real-time data into your TriCaster without having to use a third-party piece of hardware. This includes web pages, spreadsheets, scoreboards, databases, RSS feeds that can display statistics, results, time data, social media posts, and now my favorite part, is that anyone with a TriCaster and TriCaster Advanced can do their own version of mean tweets. Producer Sean, you dunk like an overweight white guy. At least I can hit free throws, Shaquille. Another great feature is the fact that TriCaster Advanced lets you do instant replay. All right, let's go ahead and test it out. All right, Matt, go long. So let's go ahead and take a look at setting it up. We're going to select which output we want to capture, and then how far back we want to go during the clip, and how fast we want to play it back. So once we do that, we hit record, we play our media or take a live camera, and we watch for the action to happen. Here's my uh, blazing fast pass. And now if you want to see it again in slow motion, we click the replay button, and there you go. And when it's done, it just comes back to the input. All right, instant replay. SDI Auto Detect. It's a simple feature, but it's a really convenient one. Basically, it takes anything that you feed the TriCaster, automatically detects it, and sets up the input for it. Instead of having to wander through this list guessing what they just brought you from the truck, set it on Auto Detect, and you're good to go. With TriCaster Advanced, we're not just switching cameras. We also play a lot of media clips, but with this, we can grab any transition out of the TriCaster we want and drag it onto the video. So just like you would a video clip, select it, drag it on, and when you hit play, it'll play that video and then use the transition. This gives us the kind of the capabilities of a nonlinear editor right here built into the TriCaster. Also another quick tip is if you select all the videos and hit Alt F, it adds a transition in between all of them. So now you could just basically select the clip, hit play, and it would run down your entire list and fade in between each clip. So you may have noticed during this video, there's quite a bit of room noise. That was intentional because the last feature we're going to talk about today is the noise gate in TriCaster Advanced. You simply go into the audio panel, and down here you'll see an option called noise gate. You turn that on, and you lose the room noise. You turn it off and you get the room noise back. Don't forget, there are over 60 features of TriCaster Advance, but this is the last one we're going to talk about today. Also remember, Keycode Media is the number one preferred reseller of TriCaster Advance software. Contact us and let us see how we can help you via competitive pricing, system integration, or financial flexibility. Don't forget to like our page and subscribe. Thanks.